Okay, so if we consider the Argan diagram, complex diagram, imaginary real, and you know, as we go round, it forms what shape? A circle. So this here is what of the circle? The radius. So the <coughs> modulus of the complex number, the length of the complex number, is often denoted as an R. Hopefully you're comfortable with the complex number in standard form or like Cartesian form. If this is like our y value here, and we've got a theta, the angle, what's y equal to using trig? So sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. The opposite is the y, and the hypotenuse is the radius of the circle, yeah. So y can be written as sine theta times r. Yeah, so if you follow the same process, this x value, instead we're using cos theta, so x can be written as r cos theta. So we could rewrite x instead of standard form, we could write it as r cos theta plus r sine theta i. But it's often called as cis form. Because they mathematicians want to shorten stuff, they don't want to write the full cos r sine stuff. They just write it as cos. C represents the cos bit. Sine represents the s bit. So you got, and it has the modulus or the radius at the start and the argument or the theta at the end. Okay, so let's do an example. It's saying convert three cis pi over 4 to standard form, Cartesian form. So you put it in 3 cis pi over 4 is 3 cos pi over 4 plus 3 sine pi over 4 i. You guys aren't super familiar with radians. Pi over 4, any thoughts what that is? 45 degrees, or 180 divided by 4, is how they got that, if you're wondering. So if you've got a special triangle, or a standard triangle, so pi over 4, pi over 4, 1, 1, square root 2. Very good. And sine is someone else. So opposite over hypotenuse, 1 over square root 2. Mathematicians don't like thirds on the bottom, so it ends up becoming square root 2 over 2 because we times top and bottom by square root 2. And that's it. So we've converted the cis form or the polar form back to standard form.